Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be stripping down this Land Rover engine. So it's come to me from somebody I know. He's asked me to strip it down, find out what's wrong with it. Not too sure where it's come from, what the circumstances or what actually happened to it, but we need to find out. So we're going to get it apart, see what we can find, see if this engine can be rebuilt and used again, or whether it's just done for. So the first thing we want to get off then, if you have a look at it, I need to get, obviously, start stripping it down, figure out what's going on. So I'm going to start taking some auxiliaries off. I don't even know if this thing even turns over yet, so that's another thing I need to have a look at. But first of all, I just want to get this intake manifold off and see what's happening. So I'll probably get this dipsy tube out as well, as you can see, going down here. So that's held on, that's part of the manifold anyway. And again, in the manifold, you can see the bolts. I need to come off to look quite rusty and corroded and on the top again there's a few bolts as well above then with a bit of a jiggle with the EGR pipe obviously coming in as well so let's get that off and then we'll keep taking it apart so the manifolds come off no issues nothing to report there so no more ones within I want to get the fuel injectors out. Maybe get a, we get video scope in there, see if we can see what's going on. So to get the injectors out and then get the rail off as well. So I'm just gonna crack it off the high pressure fuel pump there and do the eight mil and do all of these fuel lines, fuel rail. This is the looms already off of it. Looms already off the injectors as well. Someone's obviously already been here. This is broken. So then I'm gonna see if I can get these injectors out. So they're just held in by one bolt as well. Also another thing I want to get off, I want to get these coolant pipes off, so they are clamped here and here. What they do is they are going to the low pressure EGR, or to the EGR itself. As you see then, two bolts. So this is the EGR, EGR there. This is the coolant pipes that go in, connected to it. So I want to get that off as well, off the engine, so I can just get it out of the way. So let's get it to that stage. So I've got the injector rail off and the fuel lines and stuff. And as you can see, I've got two injectors out and I just thought, share, I'll get them out. So here I've just got just a bolt into a nut that's the same thread. And I'll just screw it onto the end. Like so. So this one there, you can see, this one's already had a go at this one. So this one's been hitting it here as well. So I want to see, that's so why I'm going to use this method to see if I can get this out as well. You can take the caps off, so if you do have to do that, you've got these different sort of tops and then you can screw these on as well afterwards if you get, you can use this big massive sliding hammer if you need to get them out. That's quite extreme. What I'll do though, I've got this one here as well. You see a bit of a hook. And what I'll do is I'll just put the hook around like that underneath. And I'll just give that a bit of a sliding hammer and then normally come straight out unless it's seized in there then obviously I'll have to go to the extreme so this one looks like someone has been having a bit of a go at it though as you can see here so we'll see if we can get it out and hopefully I can get the other one out as well when you take them out obviously put them in an order as well so we know that this one is number four this one's number three I will mark them up as well so I'll put them back where I found them so that method that I was just using didn't work on this one, but it did work on the other two. So, but like you say, we can see where someone's been having a go here as well. You can see it was all damaged as well. And compared to the other one, so I'm gonna take this top off and then we'll use the other way to see if we can get it out with the bigger slides and ammo. So this is the setup now. So as you see, the top of the injector has been taken off. So that is there. A couple of components as well. Just underneath you can take it out. So there's like a little needle, a little washer, a bit of spring. Remember you take them out, so then you can see straight on the top now, big sliding hammer. Let's see if we can get this out. So we had success, as you can see then. It's out now. But you can see someone's been, I don't know what they've done here. Whoever's been trying to get it out before, Obviously, they've had the right tools and they've been trying to hit it or something. Don't know. But we've got it out now, so there's one more left to go. So, all the injectors are out now. 
What else we can do before we get the board scope? I'm just going to take this cover off, just get it nice and easy. Just some eight mils all the way around, as you can see here. Just so I can see what condition the chain is. We'll see if I can see what's going on behind there. See if I see anything that's not quite right. So get that cover off and then we'll have a look inside the cylinders as well. See what's going on. So looking at the timing chains, so the chain is intact. Looks like the boss one is as well. And I have just got a socket on here and I can turn it over. It doesn't feel smooth, it's very, very notchy days. And there it goes, docked. So there is something going on here that isn't right. So you can hear it, but if we turn it, you can see the chain is moving as well. So the chains aren't, haven't failed, as you can see. Obviously that's locking up, it's very stiff to move. So obviously something very serious going on inside this engine. So we'll keep investigating until we find. So I tried to get the endoscope in to the holes, but I couldn't because it's uh, too big to get in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the sump off. So to get the sump off though, you can see the bolts here and they go all the way around, but you can see some of them going to the timing case cover itself, so that the glare. So we can turn it over. So what I want to do now is I want to get the sump off, I want to see what's going on in the bottom. So as you can see, then there's some bolts all the way around. There's one that goes through the case here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get the case off the back first. So you can see then there's some bolts here holding it all on. And go all the way around. So I'm just going to do all the bolts and just leave that off and get the sump off. So I had to remove the front cover as well. So I just took the belt off to do that. You just put a part tool in there and you just turn it and it will just take the tension off and take the belt off. Just took the pulley off the front, which is just four bolts and some eight mil. So I did that. So as I was just starting to take the, the sump off, there was a bolt that went through here as well. So as you can see, here's the compressor. So that was what the, so I've got to get the air conditioning compressor off. And as soon as I took the air conditioning compressor off, we found the problem. So as you can see then, that is an actual commod. It's gone through the side of the engine. So obviously this block is completely totaled. So that's what's gone wrong. So this engine has let go, as you can see. Caps come off. It will go probably a bit further, but I need to speak to the owner of this engine, see what they want to do. They looked inside as well. Had these find a bit of the bandit shaft as well, so that's failed. I guess when the rod's gone through, maybe. So you can see the rod in there. And then you can see it's just smashed this shaft a bit. If you have a look at the rod as well, you can see it's got very hot. So you can see the blackness on the rod. That's due to overheating, so the rod started to seize up, it's been knocking, and that's when it's let go, so that's what's happened here. And looking in there, you can see the bolts and stuff as well. So I'll leave the video there, so that's what's happened with this one. So I hope you enjoyed watching this, so give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe. I've got a couple more engines I'm going to tear down, so get some views on this, I'll tear a few more down and see what we can find. Might still take this further apart if people want to see more. Obviously put it in the comments if you want me to keep shifting it down. So thanks for watching. Bye.